Saturday in the Save the Children Convoy Camp, it's going to be a family day. They're going to have activities for kids. They're going to have fires and teepees, fires and fire pits, fires all over the place. People can come together and recharge their orgy, which I believe he meant energy. Um, but I listened to it so many times, probably the French Canadian accent. It just sounds like orgy. Hey, whatever it takes to get people in the camp at this point, the numbers are terrible now of course because they're trying to have more people show up to the camp they're also planning to have a convoy on that day into ottawa to try to be seen and they're talking about how people don't support them but they still need those people and how the leader can't actually go to the main portion of ottawa still due to a warrant they must think that the children's activities will bring people in but i mean yeah, I don't see it happening. They did talk about the plan, the plan that this leader doesn't want to go into detail with, but does say it's legal. Um, they just need more people than the police have handcuffs, so the police aren't violent against the convoy. Now, of course, another leader has, of course, made the comments that they want to arrest politicians and then arrest police if police try to stop them. Basically, the Toronto plan slightly switched up. That's really all it ever was. Exactly the thing we always heard it was. Now, in the meantime, the local free dumbers in Ottawa, the ones that are always out there on the hill, um, they decided to, again, an unrelated event, show up with their signs and act like they're part of it to try to make it look like they have actual support. And it's not just the, the same like handful of people every single day. Similar to the Freedom Corner protest in D.C. trying to co-opt another event. We've seen them try to do that in D.C. as well. Now, <laughs> there's a completely separate convoy. Um, this convoy was a convoy against sex ed, because of course it was. And it ended up with a police chase, where the police had to chase down a vehicle. I believe it was considered a high-speed chase. Uh, it was a tractor, a farm tractor, that damaged a police vehicle, and then in the chase tipped over. Now, you might be wondering, well, you got to have video of that. I do. Pinned comment. I'm going to have video of it so you can watch it. I'm going to have a news article. So definitely check that out. I want to give you the chance to really enjoy that clip. And remember, it's because they're against children being taught sex ed. And it, it really just goes to show that it doesn't matter the differences between the convoys. Because most of them are basically the same. Just different people running them. Most of them have the same terrible end goals. But they always find a unique way to screw up. But the one thing, the one thing all convoys have in common, they're a failure. They just fail in a unique way. And that's why they're so entertaining to watch. You know the failure is coming. You just don't know when.